Hi guys, um, hope you all are doing good. Now, one of the questions that I usually get is how to remember this ADM cycle. Before we get into, you know, like how how to remember this um, ADM cycle, uh, right from uh, phase A to phase H, uh, let's see why we need to remember it. Okay, now there are two instances, probably most common instances where uh, you will need to remember this ADM cycle. One is definitely for TOGAF part one examination. It's a, it's not an open book examination. It's a closed book. So you don't have any access to any TOGAF material. So what you'll be given during the start of the exam is a pen and a paper. Uh, and most of the question, as you know from my videos also, that most 40 to 50% of the questions are based on ADM. So it's good that, you know, before the start of the exam in the paper, you just draw the ADM cycle right from A to H, preliminary and requirement management, so that you have a kind of, a, you know, a base set to tackle the questions. And the second place uh, typically where you need to remember this is during the interview. Now, typically as seen during um, interview of uh, especially related to TOGAF is that you know the uh, interviewer, interviewer would like to engage uh, with you in a conversation related to TOGAF and it may end up or it may start as a whiteboarding activity and you typically start with drawing this ADM and start answering questions related to different phases. Again um, as you all know by now that ADM is the core of TOGAF. OK, so for these two instances, one for definitely for part one examination and second, if you are attending TOGAF interview, if there's a whiteboarding, there are typical, you know, uh, instances or scenarios where you need to uh, draw this uh, ADM cycle. So the more confidently and you draw this on the board kind of shows that, you know, you are well versed with uh, the different phases of ADM cycle. Today, I'll be sharing you the way I learned to remember this ADM uh, cycle. Uh, it may or may not work for you. But anyway, I thought, you know, like uh, probably let me share my uh, thought on it. So the way uh, uh, you typically draw ADM cycle is let's say if this, uh, you know, whiteboard, a blank whiteboard. So you draw uh, four circles on the, you know, the four corners that is north, south, east, west. So basically draw four circles and within two circles then introduce a new circle. Okay. So what will happen is you will have now eight circles, uh, which will translate to face later on, on the uh, whiteboard. And once you have this, um, uh, once you have this eight, uh, circle on the whiteboard, um, you draw one for the preliminary phase. Okay. And one, uh, once you have that, then you start, um, you know, uh, denoting or naming those circles on in a clockwise uh, manner, right from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. So we started with four uh, circle on uh, north, south, east, west. And then between two, each of the two circle, we introduced a new circle. We have one uh, circle for preliminary phase. And then in a clockwise direction, um, you know, just denote the circle from right from A to H. Then uh, what you do is that in the center will be where you have the requirement management. And this requirement management is what, um, you know, is being linked to all the circles. So that's very easy to remember that, you know, once you make a requirement management, then just link it to all of the circle. Now, how to remember these different phases? You know, the first phase on the top is preliminary, preliminary phase and then the first, then the uh, the ADM cycle starts or the first iteration of the ADM cycle starts with A. And the way to remember is A for architecture vision. Okay, so this is how I remember A for architecture vision. And, uh, you know, that's the first phase. Now, phase B to D, um, if you remember uh, in my previous lecture, I have mentioned that, you know, this development phase, the way to remember that or, you know, one of the easiest way to remember that is to remember B that that is business data application and technology. Okay. And so that's how we'll be uh, naming these phases business and data and application um, is phase C, which is information system, but it's nothing but, um, you know, data and application phase. And then you have the technology phase. Okay. So B that business data application technology in the actual ADM uh, data and application is termed as information system.
Okay, so we have covered A for architecture vision, business, data, application, technology phase. Okay, and in, in the center we have requirement management. Now, how to remember EFG? So the way I you know typically remember is that I remember OMG, like, you know, probably, oh my God. Uh, so what does that? How does it, um, you know, relate to this phase? So O stands for opportunity and solutions. Okay, M for migration planning. And G is implementation governance. Okay, so implementation governance, G stands for governance. So this is how I remember OMG, that is opportunity and solution, migration planning, implementation governance. And the last one is CM. It, that's how, you know, I remember is CM, that uh, stands for architectural change management. And definitely the top uh, one is a preliminary phase. I remember this uh, ADM cycle is that, you know, I just first draw the four circle north south uh, east west and then within the two circles i uh, create one more circle the uh, you know b d f g h um, then we have the center circle for requirement management top for preliminary phase a stands for architecture vision b dat is how the phase b c d are denoted then remember omg that is opportunity migration planning and implementation governance and CM that is cha architecture change management. Okay. Um, so the whole idea is that, you know, whenever somebody asks for, you know, uh, talk, you talks about the faces, you know, the way, uh, I mean, the more confident you show in drawing and kind of um, knowing that, you know, you are like well versed with the different faces, it kind of, um, you know, uh, shows or put you in a very, in a, in a very positive perspective. Okay. So I thought that, you know, I'll just share you, uh, the way I remember this, uh, ADM phase, hopefully, uh, uh, it will help you. And if you guys are, um, actually, um, you know, have, uh, some other unique way to remember this ADM cycle, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. I'm, I'll be, I'll be curious to know how, uh, you know, what are the, what are the other different methods to remember the cycle? Okay. Uh, so guys take care and, uh, just, uh, let me know in the comments, um, if you, uh, have any more questions related to this. Okay. Bye.